10 minutes to go, 10 minutes to go. Well, it's a slightly different for race uh, format. Uh, during a weekend, we have uh, two free practice sessions of uh, 80 minutes each. Then we go into qualifying, and then you have uh, two races of uh, one or each. A qualifying race, what we call a qualifying race, and then the championship race on, on, on the next day. And uh, you have to make a pit stop between the 25th and the 35th minute of the race. And you have to change driver and change all four ties uh, in the shortest possible time.
15 minutes, 15 minutes. Box this lap. Big Gobi. There might be oil on the straight, and there might be oil at the end of the straight line. Be careful there. One, two for the team, for WRT and Audi, for sure it's fantastic, but with this uh, format of racing, you know, you have the qualified race and the championship race, everything is new for us, so it's a dream today, we will see tomorrow for sure, I prefer to start on the first row and behind, uh, yeah, I'm happy, I'm so happy for Vincent, for the team, for all the guys. Um, I would not say it's a dream, I would say uh, we didn't expect him. After finishing first and second yesterday, it's uh, very hard to, to ask you more. Uh, so what we want to say is please do the same today. But we know it's not as easy as that. So uh, please keep in mind the, the key point, which first is as we said yesterday, to finish first, you first have to finish. So keep that in mind. It's much better to finish in whatever position than not finish at all. The guy who is second after the first corner, I think must be clever enough to protect the car who is leading. mechanics it's important that we between the qualifying race and the championship race that everything is checked into the smallest detail the engineers go over the data overnight uh, to see if there are any specific things to be to be checked we see how the tires uh, degrade over uh, a one hour duration uh, and the conclusions from the conclusions that we take from that we might modify some small things on the on the basic setup of the car Radio check right yeah, directly on the green now oh, directly on the green copy Fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes. Okay.
Frank, for your information, the Ferrari in front of you just received a, a drive-through penalty. Push, push. I'm already in this fucking thing. In this up, in this up. was gone. I could slightly close the gap, but uh, in the end uh, it was around about the same speed, I would say. And um, so I hope uh, Oli can can fight hard for the victory now. One point nine, one point nine. Keep pushing, Oliver. Keep pushing. Oliver, you will have to let him pass at the straight. If you stay with him, we will re-exchange the positions at the end. But you will have to let him pass for now. And this will be your final lap. Final lap. Even in my, in my best dreams, uh, I never uh, dreamed this result would uh, would happen. And uh, it's, I'm still, I think I'm still not realizing it uh, perfectly. And I have to watch a couple of times uh, my trophy or our trophy. But I think it's just because of the the team, WRT, WRT, Audi. They just worked so hard in the winter to get all of this done uh, and to be in such a state here at the GT1 World Championship. From a personal point of view, a little bit disappointed with second. Um, you know, we came out in the lead after the pit stop, but I have to say the, the number 32 car was very, very quick. And I unfortunately, couldn't quite hold on to the lead, but we're coming away with plenty of points and uh, you know, it's a long championship and hopefully we can uh, overtake them later in the season. We had, I think, the best package this weekend. We know it's going to be a hard fight and this was only the first round of the season. So I think we still have a lot to do, but uh, we could not dream about a better start.